Hi guys, VC here. Welcome back on the channel. When I speak tech, this screen, this screen is very familiar to you guys watching my videos. But if you're not familiar to my channel, then let me tell you. This means that there is a new update for the Samsung Galaxy S21. This is the plus. I guess same for S21 and S21 Ultra for the big guys. This update right now is the version AUBB 227 megabytes. What is more important, security patch level 1st of March. Now usually you can check the change log here by clicking on learn more at and when you do this, you're gonna get the web browser open and then you're gonna get this samsungmail.com. But see here guys, I still have the AUB8. So I'm gonna teach you a simple trick. You can edit the URL. Right now I live in Bulgaria, so I have here the BGL, right? And we really don't have all the latest updates all the time. But if you're looking for something new in Europe, you can change this BGL to DBT. And then you're gonna get actually the German firmware information. And when I hit this URL, guys, you can see I have the same device here, SMG996B, but boom, here I have AUBB, and indeed, this is the latest version. So really hope that you were not aware about this trick. If that's the case, and if you appreciate the content that I'm making, guys, a sub will be much appreciated. Thank you. So, what are new things here, AUBB? Security patches is clear for March. Only one change log included. The security of your device have been improved. So I pretty much think this is limited to it. Of course, I'm gonna be checking some of the versions here and there. We always do a check on the home screen, on the camera, on the security fingerprint and biometrics. But I think this time it's probably just limited to a security update. Now, as we speak, the update almost arrived. I'm gonna hit the install button and we're gonna be back here with the latest firmware with a short check and review. So hitting install now, see you in two seconds. When you restart your phone after an upgrade, don't panic, your phone is getting updated. So you're gonna see a message saying optimizing applications, right? I have 548 application. And you know, I have two kids, two boys. I'm 100% sure that at least 100 of these are games, but yeah, that's life, what can you do? All right, so just wait for this to finish. First boot, first time, you need to allow the phone some time to push everything. Even after all the applications are optimized, you're gonna get this message, Android system, finishing system update. Now at this stage, you probably just do nothing. We're gonna be checking some of the versions, so I do like this. I go to settings and I go to above because I wanna check the home screen. 12, 1, 0, 1, 15, it was pretty much the same before. Okay, let's go also in the camera, entering the camera. By the way, if you wanna get these fancy things here when your camera is being used and also an indicator where your microphone is being used then watch my previous video, guys. It's really very, very neat feature. All right, go to settings, go to about camera. Right now we have 11.0.0.2.5.8, pretty much the same. I'm gonna be doing some more checks going here into the settings. We're gonna hold to biometrics and security. And what I wanna check, guys, is here the more biometric settings, the biometric security patch, Changing for updates, 5101, the fingerprint and the face recognition is 20012. It is pretty much the same. And if we go here, we can see that the security update is indeed from the 1st of March. Today is the 6th of March, not very bad. Actually, Samsung are able to maintain a very good update speed and update pace. And guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you like the content I'm doing, I think you know what to do. Thank you for that. Please, you and your family stay safe. And we're going to be catching up in one of my next videos. VST over here. Bye.